Chances are many of you, if not most of you watching this morning, have at some point gone through physical therapy and hopefully had great success. But if you are watching this morning and you've been dealing with chronic pain, you chances are know that your needs are very different. They certainly know that over at the Center for Sports Medicine. Brandi Parker is very happy to be joining us this morning talking about really and truly a brand new and very unique program they offer there now called ACT. Great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having us today. There is a humongous difference. I've, I have someone in my family who's dealt with chronic pain in that versus an acute issue that you have to just heal and then move on with. Yes. Um, so ACT is acceptance and commitment therapy. It is a method of therapy where we are using to help treat chronic pain. And then the goal of ACT is to allow an individual to accept painful sensations in their body. <laughs> which they have been unable to control and be able to return to the activities which they value. So it's a little bit different from that acute kind of injury versus that kind of prolonged and things are working type of pain. Okay, so let's pause there for just a minute because if you haven't ever experienced chronic pain, it, it's just hard to conceive what it is to hurt all the time or a good chunk of your day. So let's say you're someone uh, and you have fibromyalgia, for example, would this be somebody who would benefit from ACT? Absolutely. Uh, a, a typical patient is one who had pain for extended period of time. So we've, we've seen that exact uh, diagnosis with fibromyalgia and it is likely that they've not seen results from trying medications, previous therapy, or even other treatments in the medical field. Okay, so the fact that the word acceptance is in this acronym means a lot to me because part of your healing, I guess, has to be that your mind has to go in sync with the physical lessons you're going to learn. Correct. So it differs from traditional therapy in the sense that we are specifically addressing our mind and our thoughts in relation to the pain we feel as we do things throughout the day. So to do this, we will be providing some exercises for our mind. And our mind is a powerful tool we have in training it in combination with traditional therapy to address the musculoskeletal problems is getting some really good results. So I'm going to stumble my way through this and I might get it all wrong and you are welcome to correct me on the air. Fair? But Fair. is it true that our, our brains are what signal our pain? So our brain is the interpreter of pain. So. While we may hurt our finger, it is our brain that actually interprets that sensation in our finger and allows us to know that our body could be in danger and that we need to respond to the pain. So the, the brain's the interpreter and the communication center for our bodies. Okay, so if you have somebody who were to come your way, which they do, um, with a traditional physical therapy need, perhaps they um, had knee surgery and they've got to recover from the knee surgery. That's a, an anatomical, physical injury that you're helping them recover from. And while it hurts, there's something there. If the pain is chronic, does the brain end up essentially making the pain heightened over time? Correct. So the brain, when it is continuously exposed to brain, can get very sensitive to the pain. And so it will be broadcasting to us that we are in continuous pain all the time. And that is something that we're addressing using these mind and, and thought exercises where we start becoming aware of what our brain is doing and start going through some exercises to, to rework that. So I would think that this is beneficial, Brandy, on lots of levels. The, the physical, hopeful pain minimizing is one of them. But when you have a lot of chronic pain, that can lead to other conditions, the depression is common in people with chronic pain. So do you see that alleviated a little bit too? Nearly every single patient that we've come has lost some hope. They've, they're they kind of down on the situation they're in. So yes, as they're able to uh, start doing the things that they had previously given up on, uh, yeah, their, their, their mood changes, their outlook on life changes. And it's just a really exciting program to help others achieve what they want out of life. I'm sure it's an individual basis. We have a minute or so left. In terms of success rates, does it, do you begin to see that success relatively quickly? Um, it's not necessarily really quickly. I mean, this is, these are usually some conditions that they've had for a long period of time. 
but they start noticing some differences in their thoughts and their perceptions and their outlook on things. And we've had some really good feedback from patients being able to reach their goals, which they previously given up on. And one patient was told me that one day she was sitting there and she got scared because all of a sudden she realized she didn't have any pain anywhere in her body. So mm-hmm. that was unusual for her. But as she, she began to accept that, um, it was really exciting. She was return some of the things that she wanted to do in life. Perhaps the most important question, if someone's watching this morning and they think, wow, this really could be what I've been looking for, can they call you on their own or will a doctor need to refer them? They can call our main phone number and we can see them directly or we can help them see our doctors if we feel that's a need. Well, it is wonderful to talk to you. No surprise that y'all would be the ones having this program to offer. So it's called ACT. Uh, at the Center for Sports Medicine, Brandy Parker is who I've been speaking to this morning. There's the phone number though, 624-2696. You can refer yourself on your own in the state of Tennessee. Brandy, thanks so much. Thank you.